All right, so today we're going to uh, go over a problem here uh, where we solve for missing triangle lengths using trigonometry. Now, this is not necessarily just a regular missing one uh, length uh, kind of problem. We'll do another video on that as well. Um, this is a question that was very similar to one I found in a practice SAT uh, that I found a couple of my students having some trouble with. So uh, let's go over this idea here. We have given that the tan of A is equal to 2, find the perimeter of the triangle. Now, uh, we will inherently usually convert this because tangent is a ratio of sides to 2 over 1. So realize that the tangent of an angle is opposite over adjacent from Sokotoa. So in this case, what this means is that the opposite of A versus the adjacent of A is in a ratio of 2 to 1. So what that means is that the ratio of BC, which is the opposite side, to AC is 2 to 1. That doesn't necessarily mean, though, that BC and AC are themselves 2 and 1. All they have to be is in a ratio 2 to 1, and we have to make sure that the hypotenuse here is 10, as was given in the problem. So, what we can do is say, well, if it's in a ratio of 2 to 1, then I can say that this side is 2x with some unknown x and that this side is just x with some unknown x because if i do 2x over x well we get 2 to 1. so now that we have the ratios there we can say okay uh 2x all squared plus x squared is equal to 10 squared and what that is is just a pythagorean theorem we have leg one leg two and the hypotenuse 2x squared is 4x squared x squared is just x squared and this is now 100. so we combine these to get 5x squared is 100 x squared must be 20. Then x is the square root of 20, which is rad 5 rad 4, or 2 rad 5. So now we know that x is 2 rad 5. We also now know that the side BC, which is 2x, that's 2 times 2 rad 5, which is 4 rad 5. So now we know that our triangle has side lengths of 10, that's over here, 2 rad 5, and 4 rad 5. And our perimeter, which is what the question is asking us for, is just the sum of the sides. which is going to be 10 plus 2 rad 5 plus 4 rad 5. So 10 plus 6 rad 5. It's important for these questions to use all of the information given to you and to remember that these ratios don't necessarily mean that the sides are exactly 2 to 1. I mean uh, 2 and 1. They just have to be in a ratio 2 to 1. And anytime we have a ratio like that, we can always say, well, 2x and x are in a ratio of 2 to 1, and then we can use other information, like in this case the Pythagorean theorem, to solve for uh, the missing sides. Uh, thank you for watching, and if you found this helpful, subscribe to our channel, check out our other videos, and feel free to email us. Our information is uh, in, the con in the comments uh, below, uh, in the video description. Uh, feel free to email us with any questions you may want us to go over. Thank you very much.